Hey guys, welcome back to Elvis Car Review. I hope that every single one of you is having a beautiful day. In today's video, we are going to talk about why GM should bring back the Buick Grand National. Strangers, believe me when I say, loving me is loving danger. Your heart is bound to break. The Buick Grand National was introduced in February of 1982 and was named Grand National as part of the NASCAR Winston Cup Grand National Series. So before I go deeper into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is not a full review of a Buick Grand National. If you want to see such video, check out Doug the Mirror's channel. He made a very good video on the Buick Grand National or Donut Media. They made a great video on their channels as well if you want to learn more about the Grand National. This video, however, is to make a point and that point is why General Motors should bring back the Buick Grand National, why this is the right time for it. In 1982, the Buick uh, Grand National came with a 4-liter uh, V6 engine. It was naturally aspirated and it made 125 horsepower. In 1983, there was no Buick Grand National and it came back again in 1984 with a turbocharged 3.8 liter v6 engine in 1984 the buick grand national made 200 horsepower and 300 ho pound feet of torque fast forward two years the in 1986 the buick grand national came back again with a slightly modified engine making 235 horsepower and 330 pound feet of torque in its final year that's the most important part in its final year Buick or GM introduced a limited version called the GNX and that's the Buick Grand National most remembered to this day. The GNX was made in partnership with McLaren and the GM rated the car at 276 horsepower and two, uh, 360 pound-feet of torque but a lot of people found out that, that those numbers were underrated. The car indeed made 300 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. The car had a 0 to 60 time of 4.7 seconds, which is admirable number. As comparison, it is faster than the current 2020 Chevy Camaro V6, which has a 0 to 60 time of 5.3 seconds. The current Camaro V6 has more power than the Buick had, but the Buick is still faster. So, uh, why I'm bringing this topic today, it's because of the low sale of the Camaro and I think GM really need another high icon. Uh, the C8 Corvette is great, a perfect vehicle. The Camaro is just not selling very well. So, for that regard, I believe that GM need to bring back the Buick Grand National. They can make it like they did, like, like Dodge did with the Demon, make it a very limited edition. They will send it, sell a ton of it. There are a lot of people that uh, the Buick Grand National was their dream car back in the 1980s, and now they can, they, most of them actually, or a good portion of them, 
are in their adult life and uh, some of them made decent amount of money and are able to afford what they couldn't. And right now, to, to find a very good, good example, Buick Grand National, it's very rare. If you find one, it's really expensive. But to, buy, to pay that much money for a car with 30-year-old technology, it's not really the best. So I think that this is a moment for, or a very good time for GM to bring us another performance icon. There have been a lot of rumors that the Camaro might be gone in 2023. I mean, uh, it will be sad to see it go, but in a you know budget perspective or financial perspective, I wouldn't be mad at GM for doing it. They did it uh, before it went away in the 90s it came back in the 2000s 2010 it was a very big comeback successful one because it outsold its main competitor which is the ford mustang so maybe the what the camera did right now is for people to miss it a little bit and then come back stronger who knows but the mid-cycle refresh was a terrible terrible uh, idea for Chevy they had a very good looking car they just ruined it a lot of people went away from Chevy because of that mistake they made and also the poor PR uh, that they have I mean they don't have a very good public relation that's why the car aren't selling so well actually the Camaro specifically because the other cars like the Equinox uh, and other are selling like hotcakes with the potential departure of the uh, Camaro, I, I believe if, if Chevy end up doing it, they will really need something in the middle. And that thing in the middle, I believe, is the big Grand National. If they are really going to let the Camaro go and bring it back, let's say in five years or four years, they should bring something to fill that gap, like make a limited edition big Grand National GNX return. They already have the platform. They have an excellent v6 that is used on the camaro and also uh, the same version the turbo is used in the cadillac hsv they my understanding is they're killing the hsv so they can't let that platform go to waste i mean the, the, if they just go i mean they went to a very nice designer asked them to make a very good muscle car looking retro vehicle and just they just dumped the current atsv engine in it that would be enough even with 464 horsepower that would be perfect for the big grand national but to make it more special and with this war on horsepower going on, I believe it will benefit GM if they give it like 700 or 800 horsepower, maybe 900. That would be kind of too much, but you know, 800 horsepower will be the sweet spot. Uh, it will be slightly above the Dodge uh, Challenger Red Eye, slightly above the GT500, which will in turn push Ford and Dodge to bring out more horsepower. And nowadays, horsepower don't mean much. I mean, Dodge pretty much democratized the horsepower. Now everybody can have a 700 plus horsepower, which is a good thing, but it kind of ruined the whole horsepower effect. Uh, now, before having three, four, 500 horsepower was a big deal, but now because of the Hellcat, everybody have no choice but to go above. <laughs> So in resume, I want uh, GM to bring the Buick Grand National back. Whether they are going to part ways with the Camaro or not, I, I still believe that uh, GM need to participate in this horsepower craze war. Yes, the uh, Camaro. I mean, the, the Corvette C8 is a great success. Very good looking car and bringing a ZR1 ZR1 version of the car will be perfect but again now the Corvette is playing in a different league it's in a supercar league to be honest with you uh, right now for the first time I believe some people especially at least when the ZR1 will come out I see some people cross shopping like old Lamborghini like Gallardo's with the Corvette ZR1 I will see someone having you know the to choose between a 2013 or 2014 Lamborghini Gallardo and the 2021 ZR1 which will probably make twice the power will be twice as fast and twice as desirable so the Corvette is a perfect vehicle but it's going on a total different class we need GM to get into the muscle car game 
or at least the pony car war with a different vehicle the camaro is great uh, it's losing momentum right now maybe the best thing that can happen to it is to go for it to go away and come back again and maybe they will pull off what they did in 2010 but for the time being i need gm to bring back the Grand National again, even if you price it at 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars, believe me, there will be people that will be able to afford those cars and make it a limited edition, like the Demon, if you want to, or make it a regular comeback vehicle. But it will have more sense, so it'll be more special if you make it a limited edition, like the Demon. And as far as the structure, well, I don't think it will cost you guys very, I mean, it will cost you a lot of money. Um, I know part of you know, part of what makes car manufacturing not developing vehicle is the huge cost i get that but think about it in part sharing with this car you already have pretty much everything you can use the ats v chassis the one you're using with the camera nobody will be able to tell the difference all you have to do is find a great designer that will design you a retro looking body to make it look like the old buick regal i mean the old buick grand national you already have the engine, so you have the uh, you have the chassis, the ATS-V chassis. You have the engine, you have the turbocharged V6 engine from the ATS-V that I don't know why you are getting rid of that car, maybe due to low sale, I will understand. But you can't let that magnificent, magnificent engine to go to waste. So you have the chassis, you have the engine, you can boost it as much as you want. 464 horsepower to me is enough depending on how much the car will weigh but i believe to make it more special and to compete i mean you have to make it to make sure it competes against the gt500 and the demon so you have to make it special enough for people to pay a certain kind of price and i believe the reason i mean the way to make it is to make it a limited edition like gm gnx return and give it 850 horsepower that way it has more horsepower than the demon the gt500 and the red eye and there will be no discussion on that and i know you have the technology to do it you can even give it a twin turbo if that will help to push that 3.6 liter v6 uh to 850 horsepower you can reliably do it i mean you've been a company for numbers and numbers of years you've mastered the technology by now so you have the platform you have the engine you have the transmission you can give it a 10 speed if you want the the, the buick uh, grand national came with an automatic so you can give it a 10 speed automatic and it will be just perfect so you have everything all you have to do right now is to find someone to design you a good body and that's it you have a grand national and you have so the cost will be uh will be reduced because you already have a lot of existing parts all you have to do is pay for a designer to get you the body and then get it uh, get it rolling so please gm i don't know if you will even watch this video if you by any chance you um stumble across this video get a focus group of mix of car guy older people people from the buick um, gnx generation uh, car guys actual car guys and then be, be and then a few engineers and uh, some bank people of course that the car has to make money and together put in a team and really develop that vehicle and i sincerely believe that if you make the return of the grand national and especially in this horsepower craze world it will work it will be a great vehicle it will sell you will i mean if you make it the limited edition you will outsell the demon just produce a little more than the demon so you can outsell the demon point in point uh quote unquote and you will have a, a great vehicle so i sincerely believe that the big grand national have a place um uh, and uh please make it happen Thank you guys for watching i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you are stopping by for the first time do not forget to subscribe please leave your comment in the comment section below if you believe that gm should bring back the buick grand national gnx as a limited edition vehicle or not thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next upload